Hey guys, did the shave for you today, same as yesterday. Zenith B35 bore brush, 31 millimeter knot, very large for a, for a bore. Uh, not too many are this big. And it is kind of a short and scrubby ratio. And so it presents a lot of backbone for whoever likes to use that. Timeless open comb, 68 gap stainless steel razor with a knurled handle. Going to keep on using our Nasset blade. So today is use number 505, it looks like. Chiseled Face Midnight Stag is the scent for both the soap, splash, and the cologne. The uh, lighting is different today because the power's out. <laughs> so we do have a little bit of light coming in from the side because of the uh, because it is daytime um, but we don't have any interior light for the uh, uh, for the shave except for what my little um, my little stick flashlight thing is able to bring to the table so that'll help us a little bit and uh, because the power is out I've got to get to work um, well not because the power is out but I've got to get to work and so, since the power is out as well, let's make it a really quick shave to, uh, so then I can uh, get in and take care of some business. I'm not an employee of the power company or anything like that. I'm going to shake out <clears throat> some of the water, not as much as I usually do. I still consider it a very wet brush. Last time we loaded for six seconds, I think, and it was still a lot. So let's just try for three seconds. One, two, three, and there we go. Okay, because we're doing the slurry lather method lately. Oh, wow, that really enlarged the circle there. And here we go. I just got out of the shower. I took a quick shower. I don't know where you are, uh, but here, usually here in America, if the power goes out, the water still works. And so you can do things like take a shower or cook, um, you know, if you have a wood stove or something like that, um, you can cook. Trying to balance things on my sink. I need to get rid of some of this stuff. So the slurry lather is something I'm calling a method where the first pass is quickly applied and it's very wet. It's not a mature lather, but it's wet. We've still got those raw materials of a little bit of lather forming here, but lots of water still in the brush and plenty of uh, some soap there that hasn't really been turned into lather yet. We're going to be needing that later on in the shave, of course. Forgot to put the blade in. My Nasset just so you guys can see. Can you see. Yeah, I think you can make out kind of the identifying etchings here. We have an N up here and a one right there for Nasset number one. I may still have some leftover Sharpie dots right there that I've had for a while. I started marking it with Sharpie dots, but as you can imagine, having used a blade 500 times, since 2018, those Sharpie dots did fade. And so I added actually some other Sharpie dots. And I did have a video where I showed where I added the, the different ones so you could see the juxtaposition, the, the overlap of one set versus another set. And that razor's ready to go. As you can see, we, we have kind of a thin lather on my face, and I discovered, um, and I've always actually said before I discovered or started to put together this particular method, I've always said that the lather, the only lather that really matters is that very thin layer that's right up close to your skin, because anything thicker than that is just going to get washed away pushed away by the razor. It's not even used on your skin. It's not even used in the blade process. 
So those thick lathers, I mean, they're luxurious. They're really almost more for your hands than, than for the actual shaving process. I should have used a another shirt. I'm gonna have to go to the office today because the because the power's out. I should have used the same shirt I wore yesterday. Because this is going to get suds on it, and I'm going to have to change after the shave. Oh, well. All right, so that's pass number one. Now a little bit of water just to kind of rinse away stubble, get it wet again. And we have still have plenty of lather. And that was, was that three seconds of loading? And look at what we have. Now, of course... It's a very profitable load because this is a stiff bore brush. Just take a moment to enjoy the scent. This is a quick shave method, and so you don't get quite as much time to soak in the scent as you do when you take the time to put the lather together in a mature way from the start. So three seconds. Oh, and I was saying that because this method's very wet during the loading process, it, you know, of course is going to bring that wetness to the soap. And so the, the soap is going to increase in moisture that it holds overnight. And so it's going to be very easy for you to Pick up the soap you need during the loading time and so you can definitely expect with this wet process your load times to be decreased when compared to a, a, a load done by a dryer brush. A little bit of water now. I don't know that I've paused you guys so maybe this is kind of a real live live uh, type shave where you're seeing how long the whole thing really takes i did soak my brush while i took a shower I don't usually shower before the shave but today i did so my beard was nice and hydrated prior and look at that that's third pass of lather on we've still got tons available from the brush it's not a skimpy lather. It's not thin in the in the sense of the way it feels. You know, it doesn't feel like a lather that's watered down. That first pass where it looks kind of thin, it still feels great. Uh, but maybe because there's still that soap that's, since it's not a mature lather, it's kind of floating around in the water is, is kind of the way I'm looking at it. And that still amounts to a very slick experience and and benefiting the razor's movement. And as you can see, these passes are, are pretty quick because of that slickness, also because of my technique. I've just done it a lot, all right? And there we go, that's the third pass down. We're gonna stick with that. Uh, we're gonna let that be all we do. Not gonna refine anymore since this is a kind of a hurried shave. So uh, get a good rinse now. and I can feel the, the soap on my face. Uh, what I had on my face was not some kind of weak lather. Uh, after a couple of rinses now, I still feel it on my face. So it, it was profitable. It was performance. It felt uh, like a little bit of luxury there. Even though didn't quite get to maturity in, in some cases. And that's three passes, three seconds of loading, and I've still got three, at least three passes left of, of lather in the brush. Let me clean that up. We'll keep it real time, just for the sake of talking to people. And I'm not even trying to be fast. 
but sometimes it's good to be able to tell people the slurry lather method can be 15 minutes long from start to finish. You do want to get a good rinse on your brush and so if you if you're concerned with fast shaves and getting in and out because maybe that's your work schedule then you probably need to go with smaller brushes. You could also go with cheap synthetic brushes. Um, I mean good quality but, but in less expensive because you can let the Worst case, if you don't quite get a good rinse, you haven't let soap dry in the bristles and that's going to eat away at natural hair brushes. And so with the synthetic, that's of course not a concern. And because it's cheap, if something does happen, some funk builds up or soap build up or whatever, because you're not able to take the time to rinse them enough, then just pitch it and get another one. They don't, they don't age like boars do. And so, uh, you, with this brush, I'm I'm having I got got some time put into it. We're almost at about 30 shaves with this one. Just dropping it on the towel, that removes any water that would be standing. And so once you do that, it doesn't matter if you hang a brush upside down or you set it on its base. Just to let you guys know, that's kind of a myth. A lot of people see the brush racks, brush holders, brush stands. And they think that's required and it's not at all required matter of fact uh, if you do leave your brush so wet that it's the water is coming out that's not good that, that's mold and mildew that kind of stuff is going to build up and so uh, or at least there's a, just a high 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 chance that that's going to happen so you really should be getting enough water out of your brush every time anyway so that you don't uh, have to have it drip and <laughs> drip dry and because there's gravity is not acting on any of the moisture in here, there's still plenty of moisture because uh, the bristles here on a bore brush are like a sponge. They do absorb water. They keep a lot of their structure, but they do absorb water. And, and so there's still plenty of water in here to evaporate. And we'll give it time to do that. Uh, wow, I, I just wonder if this soap is going to last the month. It really might not, even with my miserly loading standards. The uh, Lancaster towel contends, continues to be enjoyable. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do a proper rinse now. I feel like I could rinse for... Actually, you know what? I think I'm, I'm going to leave it because this soap has got a little bit of stuff to help your, help your skin. Let's do the splash now. Midnight Stag Splash. And the splash is kind of getting low as well. But I think it should last, especially if I don't overdo it half full. Sometimes a question that is asked is how long should your splash last? Does it long? Does it last just as long as your soap might last? I'm going to go ahead and put on the cologne while I'm thinking about it. It's part of the Midnight Stag Challenge here for Austere August. I haven't mentioned that yet. Austere August is a little endurance run that we do in August where we, in the wet shaving subreddit, we shave with kind of the same something all month long. And... Some people choose just to have that something be one soap. They want to play with the soap, figure it out, learn about it, or just use it up, whatever the reason might be. And there are other uh, upgrades from that. You can use the same soap, uh, cologne, and splash if you want to just keep the scent the same. You can use the same soap and hardware, the same brush and razor all month long. Ultra Nightmare Mode is keeping the blade the same as well, not changing out the blade for a fresher one or anything like that. Uh, some guys are, uh, and it's informal, it's not judged like the lather games are. Um, we put the cologne on. I like that so much. Um, the brush has been cleaned. You rinse the razor out. Uh, some people are doing unscented all month which is, I think is just crazy, right? No scent in the, in like a toner they might use even. 
uh, after the shave, no scent in the soap. And there are lots of unscented options available because a lot of makers do make an unscented version of their soap. And that's good for people with allergies. And that sort of thing. Razor is rinsed, and I think that's uh, that's good. That's good for our shave. So, whole thing in 15 minutes easily, and that's with me doing some talking. So, this can definitely be a, a fast morning, part of your quick routine kind of shave. This is Sugar Daddy Shaves coming to you from the powerless area of North Carolina right now. Had some storms roll through recently. Uh, I was out driving, getting some food, and getting going to the drugstore, and... Um, I saw visibly 12 strikes of lightning just around me. It was, it, it was crazy. And that wasn't even all of it. You know, it was, it was pretty, I'm really surprised we actually had power for most of the, most of the time. It only went out about an hour and a half ago. That's it. I think you guys have a good day. Hope your power's working. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye.